in back when he was around 19 years old. The age of his opponent, more off and running. Period number one in this Greco-Roman semifinal clash. So you've seen Mohammed. How is he able to have this success at such a young age? What's his go-to? Oh, man, he's he's got an incredible pace. Uh, no matter if he's winning by five or losing by five, he's coming at you the same way. He uh, he never gives you a chance to, to breathe. Always digging for position, trying to get to his positions, and, and always looking to, to score. So, you know, when you wrestle somebody like that, even if, uh, say, you're better than him, it's hard to wrestle someone who's always coming at you no matter what. And, you know, that's the style he wrestles, the punishing. Punishing style. He is tall and slender. What type of frame as far as challenges to an opponent to get by that length? Right, he's he's um he's really good at positions where like his opponent will probably think he's okay in some positions, but since it, because of its length, he's able to get to your body when you when you don't feel threatened, and that's one of the things that makes him so dangerous. And his his match right before this one, you know, I saw him get to the body maybe three or four times where you know, his opponent thought he was okay, and just because of his length, you're, you're always in danger. A lot of hand fighting as wrestlers try to get into their kill zone, their comfort area. The Russian Marianian trying to get that underhook on the left side of Mohammed. Mohammed doing a nice job keeping that yeah, in a clear Russians. distance. Hey, Russians really trying to take take some, take some mat from him right now, control the center. You see he's awarded. Or he gets put down first. Correct position, wow. parter. Correct position, parter. So they hit the Russian with passivity. Blue. And contact. he will go down into parter, and let's see what Mohammed can do on top. Attention, bro, contact. Doing a nice job keeping him from getting a lock. Did not have the lock the whole time there. They brought him up pretty fast. Center. Now I'm back to work on the feet. One nothing. Mohammed with the lead behind that passivity point inside a minute to go. First period. Trying to get wrist control right now. Trying to work for two on ones, get an angle, but Russ is doing a great job of keeping his elbows in and staying disciplined. Saw him try to whip around, cut the corner. Marianian backpedaling, and looks like a blood timeout. I think Mohammed might be cut, or is it Marian? Looks like it's the Russian who's going to go to the corner. So a break in the action with 326. To go, just 20 seconds remaining in this first period. Focus during the off scene as, as we move into 2018 was for Greco-Roman to get more involvement on the feet, not so right. much reliant on that par tear. What do you think of that? I think it's great. Uh, everybody wants to see see big throws. Everybody wants to see action. And um, you know, when they change the rules so that they award you for being active on your feet, I think it made a lot of guys open up. And now you're seeing a lot more scoring this year than I think in previous years. How much has that train uh, changed the training cycle for these athletes as far as the priority right. when you're going through the preparation, say, for the World Championships? Yeah, you definitely you definitely want to focus a lot on your feet, being active, uh, getting to good scoring positions, and making attempts too. You know, not just getting to an underhook and, and trying to wait for a call. You're trying to get to an underhook can score because at the end of the day if if you score if you don't hopefully the referees will reward you with uh, you know a chance on top and you'll get one point so yeah you definitely want to be active on your feet get a lot of scoring attempts get to good positions and then get on top and, and try to lift and throw the guy center All right, looks like we're ready back Stop. get back to Stop. action here Stop. These two wrestlers ready to go. They don't want to wait for the referee. Now they're allowed to engage. one nothing. entertaining first period. Semi-final at 63 kilos. The Egyptian with that two-on-one. Cleared out of there by Marianian. Five seconds left. 
First period will come to an end. So let's let's go inside that rushing corner now. And if you're Stepan Marianyan, how do you crack the link? What, what, what do you see so far that he might have an opportunity to get some points? I think he's really got to get the Egyptians' feet moving, try to get some angles because attacking them straight on isn't, isn't quite working with the, the length that he has. And you got to know if you're Russia, you're, you're probably going down this period, and that'll give the Egyptian the criteria for the win. So we definitely got to score some points if we're Russia. Mohammed has won two straight junior world medals. Took silver last year, bronze in 2016. Making his world's senior debut in the semifinal. And you are right, he just comes right at you, does not waste any time. Really digging for a two on one, trying to get control. Is back, back towards the center. Mariani was nearly able to get that step out on Mohammed, which would have tied it up. One nothing remains to score, 2.25 to go. Russian's really pushing straight forward right now. Looking to get that pass safety call. So, hard tear time. Marianian gets the point. Criteria now with him. And can he get a turn on Mohamed? And he gets it. Gets the turn, goes up three to one. Still has that wrench, and he will get two more. Can he bring him back? He does. The Russian corner saying, don't stop. He's going to readjust his position a little bit. One more turn. Bridge back up, and finally, Mohammed is able to clear it out. But a big, sweet sequence for the Russian. All right, he was able to put some points on the board, and now he's got a really comfortable lead. So I'm sure Muhammad's going to be coming at him, trying to chip away. At this point, Muhammad's got to kind of start trying to, there it is, going for a big move. Slip headlock. You like the shot, though. He needs oh, yeah. to take some chances. Right, it doesn't matter if you lose by one or if you lose by, by seven. You know. Loss is a loss, so at least go down swinging. Center. Center. Taking that card. Reach around attempt. Slip, back up to the feet, less than a minute left. He, he continues to reach in every weapon he has, doesn't he? he? He's trying. He's really reaching deep in, the, in his bag of tricks, trying to close this gap in the score. The Russians now just trying to stay in good position. Up six with 40 seconds left. Wild attempt, taking a shot. Mohammed unable to connect. 7-1 in favor of Mariana. that two on one. Really trying to drive forward and open him up with the underhooks, but the Russian's clamping down very nicely, standing good positions, keeping his elbows in. Good smart wrestling. Russia into the gold medal round. Last year's bronze medalist will 
wrestle for gold as he is able to knock off the young upstart Egyptian by a final of seven to one. It only took one time on top through the parterre for Marion to inflict his damage, and he moves into the goal.